the Jaguars are united on the bluffs of the mighty Mississippi to defend their turf. And this fall, they stalk in unison. This fall, they strike with curiosity. This fall, Jaguars are proud as well. Touchdown, Rod. That's a lot of effort, a lot of determination. Welcome, everybody, here to the uh, Southern Game Day Experience. Southern University right here in front of A.W. Mumford Stadium inside the Tony Clayton Championship Plaza. I'm Chris Powers. We'll get ready for the last regular season game here at A.W. Mumford Stadium for 2018. Now, we can't say it's the last game in A.W. Mumford Stadium this year because there's still an opportunity for the SWAC Championship foot football game to be here at A.W. Mumford Stadium. Here's how it'll work. In the East, Alcorn State controls their own destiny. They have only one more game left to play. That's next week against Jackson State. If they win that game, they will win the SWAC Eastern title for the fifth time in fifth in a row, fifth year in a row. Alabama A&M is pretty much out of it, even though they're at four and two. They lost to Alcorn State earlier uh, this year. Jackson State still has a chance, but they've got two more conference games. They must play uh, today against Alabama State, and then they win that game, and then they've got to beat Jackson State, or actually uh, Alcorn State next week, and then they will go to the championship game. Alabama State's the only team that has beaten Alcorn State. They still have an opportunity to go as well. They've got three conference games left. They went out, they're going, and of course they have to hope also that Jackson State beats Alcorn State, and then that will happen that way. Now in the West, it's a little bit easier. Southern and Grambling State control their own destiny. Southern wins today, and they also win the Bayou Classic. They're going to win the West. Grambling State, they have a conference game today, but it doesn't count to the standings. They play Alabama A&M today in Huntsville, Alabama. If they would lose that game and it would a conference game, they'd be over. But it's not that way. It doesn't count to the standings. So Grambling will play in the Bayou Classic. And this guy right here next to me, Henry Baptiste, knows all about the Bayou Classic in so many years. Henry Baptiste, what you have meant to Southern University has been unbelievable. To the broadcast standpoint, also to getting a field here on A.W. Mumford. But not only that, all the stuff you've done for Southern University, it's been unbelievable, my man. It's been a long run, Chris. And as I told you, when I got here, we started looking at the guys who, have, who I've worked with in the last 40-plus years. Man, we have had some great guys to, to my right on, on, on some good ball games. And you have been the catalyst of them all. You've come a long ways. And for, I remember the first time I met you, you were doing high school games. Yes. And we were coming, we were, being, we were broadcasting over at the... Uh, at guarantee mm -hmm. and i asked miss denise johnson about you i said chris has a great voice we should get him <laughs> on the air and as fate has it, you turned out and you came right along with and us. thank but you for that because you're, you're the one that got my career going as far as that goes to sports broadcasting so i appreciate that but all the great guys like you said mike rhodes uh you know you worked for years at channel yeah. twbrz at jc police what a legend that guy was yeah he boy he he could anchor the worst game <laughs> on, a, on a bad day or a bad night. He would make it sound so – we could be losing 45 to nothing. He'd make you sound so great like you're winning 45 to nothing. I missed O.J.C. Pullings. He, he was a great guy. Yeah, and Clayton Lewis. I, 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 you know, Clayton Lewis was one of the greatest guys I've ever met in my life. I was so heartbroken. I was out of town when I found out he had passed away. Couldn't make the uh, services. Broke my heart. He was such a – he always had positive thoughts. That's what he would always say. Never say nothing bad about Southern. Oh. Man. Always positive. And he'll, he'll get mad with us when we start criticizing both <laughs> clubs sometimes. That's right. But uh, we've, had a, we've had a great run. I've enjoyed every day of it. As I said here this morning in 40-degree temperature, yeah. when the season first got started in September, I think I was with you on the third show. The temperature then was about 90 degrees, right. and the sun was bearing down on me. We were 0-2, trying to figure out whether Southern was going to get a win this year. Mm -hmm. Here we are four weeks later. We're driving home. Looked like we could get to that championship SWAC ball game, and it's freezing out here this morning. Flip-flop right. in two months. <laughs> but uh, I was listening to you talking about all the scenarios for Southern to get to the championship game. The only thing that bothers me about this when I talked to the athletic director a couple of weeks, it appeared that 
if that we could possibly get that game and it would be played here at Mumford Stadium if but there were so many scenarios involved mm -hmm. in it. Then it turns out that we, Alcorn is in the driver's seat right. because we may wind up going back to Lorman, Mississippi. At that point, I asked him, I said, why don't we get a neutral site? I don't think it's a good idea to think about going back to Lorman for a championship game. Right. This contest, the SWAC championship ball game, could have been played in Jackson. It could have been played here in Baton Rouge. Could have been played a possibility of the Superdome. Yeah. I don't like the idea of going back to your opponent's home field for a championship ball game, and that's what it may be wind up being. And not only that, Lorman didn't have any hotel rooms. Hotels are so far out of that area; it's in the middle of nowhere. But, but you got to give them credit. Uh, this could be their fifth straight Eastern Divisional Championship in a row. That's that's incredible. And since the championship game, it's had not happened at all. This would be the first time that would have ever happened. Henry, what got started? What made you get into the broadcast? I know you worked at WBRZ for years. What made you start getting into the Southern broadcast? Well, I guess it was a part of me. I went to Southern Lab, went to Southern University, moved on over to WBRZ, and we started covering Southern games on a Saturday. John Ferguson was, was a sports director at WBRZ at that time, and he said, Henry, I want to start putting Southern on the air every Saturday. I looked at them because, you know, at that time, it was LSU, LSU. Yeah, right. else. So I said, okay, that's fine. I'll cover it. Used to volunteer on Saturdays to come up here and do the ball games. And uh, at that time, it was unheard of to put putting Southern on the air every Saturday. And after that, I just enjoyed coming up here, staying with the ball game, getting close to the uh, players. And the football coach, when I started up here, was Al Tabor. He, he got – uh, he was fired a couple of years later. Then along came Charlie Bates. He was a great coach also. And uh, I've seen every coach since the 70s come and go at Southern University. All of them are great guys. Even my good friend Otis Washington, who I get a chance <laughs> to talk to every Saturday. You know, Otis still comes to the ball games and we get a chance to chit-chat. And he gets mad when he sees things going on wrong out there on the field. I said, well, Otis, you're not out there anymore. You better sit down. <laughs> and his wife, Linda, just looks at him and laughs. But uh, I really enjoyed it, Chris. And I, even when I retired from broadcasting five years ago, I just couldn't get away from sitting in that booth with you guys. Mm -hmm. I said, well, I'm going to enjoy tailgating and all of that. And I just haven't been able to do it yet. But I intend to do it because uh, I've had a great run, a long run, and we're going to leave it in your hands. We're, uh -oh. leaving, it, we're leaving it with the <laughs> capable guy, and I know you can take care of all of the business. Uh, and you, you smell that stuff, the cooking right now going on. But, Henry, it's not just the broadcast that you've been so big at Southern. You've helped in getting that feel, that beautiful uh, synthetic turf here at Southern University. But it's always money and always donating uh, food that you've done for years and years, football team. Uh, gets uh, food. The opposing football team, the opposing bands, they all want to get food. And Henry Baptiste of the Chicken Shack has always been available to do that. Well, we enjoy doing it. And uh, Coach Odom and his staff, every Wednesday is their day at Chicken Shack. Every Wednesday you can look forward to the coaching staff coming over and enjoying uh, food. We make it a point to take care of the football coaches. We've even started now taking care of the uh, the basketball program, and we, we've got a great new basketball coach, and, yes. I'm sure, and I'm sure you'll be right there talking about Coach yeah. Sean because yes. he's a likable guy. I saw him play the other night, Chris. They've got some good guys on that basketball club. That's right. They, put, they went to Alabama, played Alabama last week, and uh, they lost by 20. But Coach Banks, he was there also. Sometimes it's hard for him to take off that coach's cap and put on an athletic director's <laughs> cap. He was in Alabama at the ball game. I talked to him when he first got back. First thing he said was, Alabama played the starters for the whole ball game. That's right. So, and they only won by 20. That's right. So that's, that's saying something about our new basketball coach. That's right. He has hit the, he has hit the floor running. Right. No, no question about that. And for Henry, for you, it would be un unbelievable to watch, uh, obviously, for Southern University going to the Bayou Classic. And I think this is definitely the year. Southern's a young team in building and what have you, but their defense is playing one of the best I've seen since I've been here at Southern University. And offensively, if we get that going, the two run, uh, quarterbacks can run the football. Now we're going to start passing the football. And if we do that, I think we can win out and go on to the SWAC championship game and end up in Atlanta in that beautiful brand-new Mercedes uh, Stadium. That's true. Had lunch Wednesday with Ladaria Skeleton. Now I was starting quarterback. He and one of his roommates came by for lunch. We were talking about the game. 
And as you well know, we have a lot of memor memorabilia on the wall at Chicken Shack. Mm -hmm. First thing he said after he looked at all of those pictures, he said, I see you've got an empty wall over there. <laughs> I said, yes, I do. <laughs> he said, well, when I leave Southern, that wall is going to be full of my pictures. I I'll said, oh, be. good. I said, good. I said, you can start it Saturday. That's right. That's <laughs> but, right. Uh, he's a likable guy, and I, I think he'll do well here at Southern University. Did you talk to him? I know you being uh, the reporter, did you ask him about playing against his hometown team, Pine Bluff, Arkansas? He says he's looking forward to it. And uh, he also mentioned the fact that Southern is a team that loves to run the ball. He liked to run it also, but the coach wants him to pass that ball That's more. Right. He also mentioned the fact that they have some great guys sitting out for next year. Didn't know that. He named several young receivers that will be in that next next year. Also on this ball club, Chris, they've only got seven seniors on this team. Yep. Seven seniors on this team this year. We also talked about Smith, the receiver I told you about that has great right. blood in his veins. Mm -hmm. You know, I know his grandfather when he played basketball here in Baton Rouge. So. We are, this football team has yet to move to the heights that I think they're capable of doing. I think next year will be a bigger and better year for this ball club. No question about that. Henry Baptiste, of course, you can see him at the Chicken Shack, and you can see him all around Southern University. He has, he has put his stamp on this university, not only going to the school, but obviously donating all of his time, money, and food to this great university. We'll be back with more of the Southern University game day experience right here outside of A.W. Mumford Stadium, getting ready for our final regular season game against UAPB and the Golden Lions. We'll be back right after this timeout. This, uh, of course, show is presented by ExxonMobil. Back after this on Pelican Sports TV. Imagine a day without music. You go downtown, you can find some music. You come uptown, you can find some music. Monday night, they got music. Every night of the week, there's music somewhere. Baton Rouge is a place where it's easy to make friends, it's easy to hear some music, and it's easy to come back. We got the music, we got the food, and we got good people. So with that combination, you can't lose. Right? You ever come to lose it? It's game day. A day that should be spent in the living room, not the kitchen. So next game, you just worry about the score because we've got the food covered. With hand battered, cooked to order, always fresh, never ever frozen chicken fingers, craveable cane sauce, crispy crinkle cut fries, and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, official chicken of Southern University. One love. <laughs> This December 15th, the best in HBCU football will meet in Atlanta at the Celebration Bowl. MEAC champion versus SWAC champion. Only one will rise above the rest at Mercedes-Benz Stadium and claim the coveted Celebration Bowl trophy. For more information, visit thecelebrationbowl.com. We're a nation of hardworking Americans, and businesses will always be the lifeline of this great country. As a business owner, you understand the importance of your reputation. In times of uncertainty, you need a real lawyer who's serious about protecting you and your business. You need a problem solver. You need the law firm of Clayton & Fouget. Tony Clayton is a proven trial lawyer. He'll defend you and your business to the fullest extent of the law. Protect your investment and call the law firm of Clayton & Fouget today. Dallas, get ready to turn it all the way up for the 2018 State Fair Football Showdown. Saturday, October 20th, Cotton Bowl Stadium. Get ready, get ready for the Battle of the Cats. 
It's the Tigers of Texas Southern University straight out of H-Town versus those Jaguars of Southern University Baton Rouge. Brought to you by Lone Star Sports. Two big cats from the swank. It's colossal. It's colossal. Come witness Southern's high-scoring offense against Texas Southern's shutdown defense. In the end, only one cat will remain standing. This is huge. Huge. It's a game you've been waiting for. Turn it up. And did we mention the bands? Get ready for the high-stepping bands you want to hear. Featuring TSU's Ocean of Soul, Moving in Motion, against Southern's Human Jukebox. Saturday, October 20th, Cotton Bowl Stadium in Dallas. It's Texas Southern Tigers of H-Town. Turn it up. a Jaguars of Southern University, Baton Rouge. For more information, visit our website, www.statefairshowdown.com. Grand Cherokees, we'd rather sell them than move them. It's Salisbury's Moving Sale and Jeep Adventure Days. Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo, $27,990. With Power Group Backup Camera Keyless Entry and Uconnect. Get them now at Salisbury's Chrysler. Dodge. Jeep. And Ram. In Baton Rouge. I can still remember Charlotte's first day of kindergarten like it was yesterday. Now, she's heading off to college. So how are you feeling? I'm nervous. I'm also really excited. You know you're the first McKernan to not go to LSU in decades. Promise me this, you'll wear purple and gold at all the UT <laughs> football games. Dad. Letting go isn't easy, especially for this Louisiana dad, but our children know family is always there for them. Just like when our clients come to us for help, they'll always be part of the Get Gordon family. We want to be your lawyers for life. Call 888-8888. Care South offers a wide range of comprehensive medical, behavioral health, and dental services. On behalf of the staff and board of directors, we want to thank the Parish of Ascension, East Baton Rouge, and Iberville for allowing us to serve you. Come out to any of our locations where family is serving families. All right, welcome back, everybody, right here to A.W. Mumford Stadium. It's the uh, Jaguar game day experience right outside A.W. Mumford as we get ready for our final regular season game here at A.W. Mumford Stadium for 2018, UAPB and the Golden Lions. That game is set for 4 p.m. today. It's an early kickoff game while the sun is set out and will cool, uh, will heat some things up a little bit because its uh, temperatures are dropping, but it's going to be still a fun day. Lots of people to be honored today, including Exxon Mobil, who is sponsoring this show here today. As we mentioned, Henry Baptiste will be honored, and this man who's been uh, a hero at uh, Louisiana and all here for Southern University as well, General Russell Honore, a proud Southern alum. He is going to be honored today, and our very own Tommy Chrysan had an opportunity to catch up with Russell Honore this week. We continue with the Jaguar game day experience fueled by Exxon Mobil. I'm Tommy Chrysan of Pelican Sports TV, and it's our pleasure to be joined by General Russell Honore. General, how are you today? I'm fine. Go vote. Go Jaguars. <laughs> hey, it's a great day to be on the campus for Jaguar football. You're a graduate of Southern University. What, how was your experience at Southern, and how did that help you to become the person you are? It was tough uh, with a lot of love. Uh, I'm not quite sure I was quite ready for college, uh, but our teachers told us if they, we started <coughs> and we tried and we studied and we passed the test, we'd get our education and nobody could ever take that from us. And it was a very caring institution and uh, they tried their best to get you through to graduate uh, if you tried. And that was the soft hand of success the teachers at the university because uh, you got to know the teachers and they got to know you by name and in many cases know your family. And of course your experience here was a great one. Uh, what, what advice would you give young people who are stepping on the Southern University campus or whatever campus across our great country? When you go on that campus your job is to go to school. That's your job. Uh, you don't go to school and have a job. Uh, if you want to graduate, if you want to be proficient in your profession, whatever it is, you study hard and you focus on your education. That's the number one thing in those four years you're at Southern University, is to get your degree and get your grades right and take care of yourself because all the fun will come after that. Uh, it, it's some sacrifice to finish college, but what comes in success without sacrifice? You can only be a winner if you're willing to sacrifice. And of course, you're being honored today here on the campus at Southern University. What does that mean to you to be recognized? Well, they had a choice to bring a lot of people back, <laughs> and they chose me. So I'm very grateful 
uh, for that honor to represent the hundreds and thousands of uh, young men and women who's gone through the Southern University uh, ROTC program and served their nation uh, with honor around the world and still serve today. And now, what, uh, what was the thing you remember most about your days uh, on the campus at Southern University? Uh, as I said, that personal touch from the teachers. Uh, I had a teacher named Dr. Watley. He was in charge of the horticulture department. And I had a little part-time job. And he would come by there every now and then to pick up a hamburger. And he said, boy, you, you're working too much. You need to study and get this horticulture class down. So I took that class. We had to identify 100 plants by scientific and common name. And midterm in this semester, he said, I don't think you're going to make it. You're not studying enough. So next semester, I took the course over. Thank God Dr. Wadley had gone to Ghana to uh, breed some sweet potatoes. And a graduate student took over. And I passed the course with a D plus. That was my lowest grade I've ever received. But I got through it. And it just teach you adversity and, and tough things prepare you for the future. After Hurricane Katrina devastated our great state and many other folks felt the impact of that. You were the, the, the leader of the recovery efforts and putting everybody in motion to help people and help people survive and rebound and, and rebuild. Uh, how did Southern University help you be able to be in that position? I think the compassion for people, uh, having empathy for people uh, and trying to help them. And that was the motto that they taught me at Southern a feel for others, help others when you can, and just because people are poor, we shouldn't be afraid of them. I grew up poor. So being around poor people that needed help was a time to serve with honor, not a time to denigrate or uh, say they should have evacuated early. This was a time to save lives, and that's what I learned from Southern University. General Honoré, congratulations on your award today, and uh, certainly thank you for your 37 years of service in the United States Army. Uh, glad to have you with us here on the Jaguar Game Day Experience. Go Jaguars. There you go. I'm Tommy Chrysan on the Jaguar Game Day Experience, fueled by Exxon Mobil on Pelican Sports TV. All right, thank you a lot, to Tommy Christan. Great interview and a great man, and we can't wait to see him on campus today being uh, honored like he should be, General Russell Honoré, a proud Southern alum. When we come back, we're going to honor a very special company that's been involved with Southern University, ExxonMobil. They're also the sponsor of this show, and they'll have their family day today right here at A.W. Mumford Stadium. We'll do that when we come back. It's Jaguar game day experience continuing right here outside of A.W. Mumford Stadium inside the Tony Clayton Championship Plaza. I'm Chris Powers on Pelican Sports TV. Towing, we love our God, our children, our nation, and yes, our sports. So let's play ball. Score big when you need to tow, either in East Baton Rouge or West Baton Rouge. Because at Road Runner Towing, we don't want an arm and a leg, we just we want, want your toes. Yeah!
Jeepies. We'd rather sell them than move them. It's Salisbury's moving sale in Jeep Adventure Days. All new 19 Jeep Cherokee Latitudes and 19 990 after finance rebate. 15 at this price. Get them now at Salisbury's Chrysler. Dodge Jeep. and Ram in Baton Rouge. Smart. It's game day. A day that should be spent in the living room, not the kitchen. So next game, you just worry about the score because we've got the food covered. With hand battered, cooked to order, always fresh, never ever frozen chicken fingers, craveable cane sauce, crispy crinkle cut fries, and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, official chicken of Southern University. One love. <laughs> This December 15th, the best in HBCU football will meet in Atlanta at the Celebration Bowl. MEAC champion versus SWAC champion. Only one will rise above the rest at Mercedes-Benz Stadium and claim the coveted Celebration Bowl trophy. For more information, visit thecelebrationbowl.com. All right, welcome back, everybody. It's the uh, Jaguar Game Day Experience right here at Southern University outside of A.W. Mumford Stadium as we get ready for the big game today at Southern University taking on UAPB. Hey, don't let the Lions fool you. This is a team that is capable of winning this game, no doubt, even though they have only won one game all year, 1-8. and eight, They're also winless in uh, conference play at 0-5. But this team offensively is a very good football team. They are very good in rushing. They have a 1,000-yard rusher. And in passing, they're getting their, they've got a new quarterback, so they're getting their passing game going as well. They are right in the uh, beginning or at the middle of the pack as far as in the conference goes. So this is a team that can play. The thing that has hurt them this year has been their defense. And we're going to talk more about that coming up here in just a moment. Right now, we've got uh, Shante Greenwood, maintenance uh, department uh, Director, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, Chris. Thanks for having me. Did I get all of your title right? It's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Exxon Mobil. And by the way, this is a very nice uh, jacket you've got right here. Thank you. Exxon Mobil, too. I like that. Thank you. And a nice hat as well. What has it meant for you to work at Exxon Mobil? You know, it meant for a lot, uh, It means a lot for me and my family to work for Exxon Mobil. Um, I think you know Exxon Mobil does a good good job giving back to uh, minorities and people in our community. You know, as you know, we've been in this community for over a hundred years, and kind of partnered with with Southern as well as the Baton Rouge Community College um, and the Capital Area United Way uh, for some time, making sure that we can kind of give back and kind of grow and excel. And you're continuing to grow big time, not only in the community, but also, as we mentioned, all throughout these shows, the, the plant here is growing. It's always it's already a city within a city. Actually, it is. And, and I know we're looking at some continued growth. And, you know, to do that, we want to continue to partner, you know, with the state and make sure we have, you know, good, good transportation, um, good reliable and stable taxes and things like that so that we can continue to put back into into the uh, into the community. Now, what does it mean for ExxonMobil, and how do you feel about ExxonMobil being such a big part in Southern University? You know, it means a lot for me. I didn't actually attend Southern University, but I did attend a SWAC, univer you know, a SWAC school or HBCU. So I think it, it means a lot to give back in the community that you're in, uh, especially to one, you know, as, as, as grounded as Southern is uh, for some time. So I think it's a big deal. So can I ask you what member that is? I am a proud alumni of the Prairie View A&M University. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody get her, please. <laughs> and Prairie View obviously uh, got off to a good start this year. Yeah, we did pretty good. And, and beautiful campus, by the way. It, that campus has grown. Not only the uh, sports facilities, but the campus in general. It's very nice. And, and you know, and I think that as many businesses as we can to get involved with HBC, HBCU sports is important because uh, statewide, we're, we're not giving as much money, even though John Bell Edwards, Governor John Bell Edwards, said this year that in the legislature of next year, they're going to start looking more into high schools and also into higher education, and hopefully that'll be the case. Today is Exxon Mobil Day, Family Day. Get an opportunity for Exxon Mobil and their uh, members and bring their family out here and have fun at A.W. Mumford Stadium. 
That is correct. We're doing a lot of things here today. So one of the things we're doing over at the, uh, I guess the mini dome is what they call it, is right. they have the high school students here and we're, we're talking to them about resumes and, and going to college and doing some science uh, experiments with them and things like that. So it's a big deal. I think we're also having like an informal tailgate for the families and most importantly we're here to kind of enjoy the game and see a southern win. That's right. That's right. That's right. So and that's it, so important and we've seen that over the years uh, is that ExxonMobil is not just involved, not just opening with businesses and what have you, but they're getting young minds going and that's important today because I, even with my son, I had no idea what my son was going to do when he got out of high school. I told him you either go to college or you go to military. He chose to go to the military and he wants to be a Marine, uh, you know, he's a Marine now. He's graduated from the Marine Corps, and uh, he now wants to become, uh, you know, uh, big in the Marines, like a sergeant major or something, or officer school. And that's fine the way you do that, but ExxonMobil gives an opportunity for you to learn before you even get to college. That's so true. I mean, we have a lot of partnerships with like BRCC. We have partnerships with Southern. So those who may not be in engineering or, or opportunities to come and work for ExxonMobil, you know, in engineering, we also can come in as craft. You get, you know, you got welders and pipe filler, pipe fitters, uh, in instrumentation electricians that also work for ExxonMobil. I think one of the fun facts that I learned uh, when I moved to the Baton Rouge area is that one in every 10 jobs can be traced back to ExxonMobil in some way. Wow. Now what made you leaving high school, going to college, what made you get into this industry? Well, so the, uh, the oil and gas in industry was always very close to me because my grandmother worked for Shell. Mm -hmm. um, so it was a part of, you know, I guess our generation and our culture. Um, ExxonMobil I found to be a very stable company, a very family oriented company, and I really liked the people um, that I was going to be working with. Wow, and to come here today to do that, so are you bringing your family here today? Well, I have a five-month-old son at home. It's a little cold, well, so we're, we're on the fence. <laughs> wow, wow. What's his name? His name is Austin. Austin. And it's all about that, too. It's all about family and what ExxonMobil has meant to your family to help grow and what have you, and that's big, too, uh, right here. So, uh, obviously, coming into Southern University, you cheer for Prairie View A&M when uh, Southern and Southern, uh, Prairie View are playing, right? Well, my family gives me a hard time. I have at least five relatives that graduated from Southern University. I actually played basketball in college, so I came out here quite a bit. Wow. Um, so I try to just stay silent and not cheer at all. Well, you know, and that's the thing about that, it, you know, and that's what people don't understand. Our rivalries, like, for instance, the Southern and the Grambling State, it's a rivalry, but it's not one of those rivalries where uh, we fuss at each other or anything like that. We actually... Uh, you know, rib at each other a little bit at the Thanksgiving Day dinner and, and stuff like that. So it's not meaning that, you know, hey, we're not going to talk to that person anymore. It's all more of about uh, just a little jab at him, just a bit, hey, we're going to beat you this year. Right. But it, after, the, after the game, it's nothing, no animosity. That's right. So it's all about that good. So what position you played in uh, college basketball? Point guard. Point guard. All right, I like that. Did you, <laughs> you like shooting the ball or just dishing it off? A little bit of both. A little bit of both. Now this year, you got Southern University's basketball coach, and uh, she is unbelievable. And I think she's going to do a good job at Prairie View. I know you had to be happy about hearing about that, Sandra Pugh. Very happy about it. I think uh, the team's going to do very well this year, and I'm looking forward to seeing them compete. And she had, she said it would be the only team that she would have went to. She'd left Southern to go to Prairie View A&M at that time. Her mom passed away, and this was an opportunity for her to get going. Uh, maybe try something new, uh, turn uh, the chapter, the next chapter, in her, and, and then she went to, she decided to go to Prairie View. I think that was very good. I'm very happy about it. Again, um, I think she's going to do very well for the school and for the team, and I'm looking forward to seeing us take home a SWAC championship. No question about that. So, again, again today, all ExxonMobil uh, family, come on down to A.W. Mumford Stadium. We invite you to come on by and see uh, the human jukebox. Uh, not only that, because I tell you, they're the best, best band uh, in the land. There's no question about that. And obviously watch Southern University take on UAPB and the Golden Lions, which could be the final uh, game in 2018 uh, for here at A.W. Mumford Stadium. So once again, uh, Southern University playing on the UAPB Golden Lions today. UAPB could be one of those trap games. They're 0-5 in conference play, 1-8 overall. We're going to talk about that, but every game they've pretty much been in in the SWAC, including Grambling State. They gave Grambling State all they can handle in that game, so it ought to be a fun game here today to watch this game. They have the biggest offensive line. I don't know what they do in Arkansas, 
to get the biggest offensive line year in and year out, but they do it every single time. And uh, even they've got one that's one of the best offensive linemen in the National Football League in Terrell, Terrell Armstead, which is in uh, you know New Orleans Saints. So once again, ought to be a lot of fun to see uh, that big offensive line. Our defense has played very good for throughout this last three uh, games. They've been very good, including that 38 to nothing win at Prairie View. <laughs> <laughs> you know I had to get that in. But uh, so uh, they've been very good. So they're going to have to handle this big offensive line if they want to be able to get to the quarterback to sack him and stop this running game that they've got a 1,000-yard runner on that. All right, when we come back, we're going to continue to talk about ExxonMobil right here as we continue with the uh, Jaguar game day experience outside A.W. Mumford Stadium on the campus of Southern University inside the Tony Clayton Championship Plaza. I'm Chris Powers, back in a moment on Pelican Sports TV. Roadrunner Towing, we love our God, our children, our nation, and yes, our sports. So, let's play ball. Score big when you need to tow, either in East Baton Rouge or West Baton Rouge. Because at Roadrunner Towing, we don't want an arm and a leg, we just want your toes. It's Salisbury's moving sale in Jeep Adventure Days. All new 19 Jeep Cherokee Latitudes and 19 990 after finance rebate. 15 at this price. Get them now at Salisbury's Chrysler. Dodge Jeep. and Ram in Baton Rouge. It's game day. A day that should be spent in the living room, not the kitchen. So next game, you just worry about the score because we've got the food covered. With hand battered, cooked to order, always fresh, never ever frozen chicken fingers, craveable cane sauce, crispy crinkle cut fries, and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, official chicken of Southern University. One love. <laughs> This December 15th, the best in HBCU football will meet in Atlanta at the Celebration Bowl. MEAC champion versus SWAC champion. Only one will rise above the rest at Mercedes-Benz Stadium and claim the coveted Celebration Bowl trophy. For more information, visit thecelebrationbowl.com. Welcome back, everybody. It's the Jaguar Game Day Experience presented by ExxonMobil right outside A.W. Mumford Stadium on the campus of Southern University. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Chris Powers. That Dog Day D has made its return here to the campus, and in the last 12 quarters, they've only allowed 14 points. And also, not in that 14 quarters, not one team in the last three games has gotten over 100 yards. So that's the key to this game today because – UAPB can run the football. They have a 1,000-yard rusher. We're going to talk about that coming up here in just a moment. Now, for Southern University, again, they can lose this game here today because they have a half-game lead over Grambling State. They can still lose this game today and still go to the SWAC 
uh, championship game. It would all come down to the Bayou Classic in two weeks. So that we'll look forward to that. No question about that in the Superdome. It seems like the last three years it is going to come down to the Bayou Classic. The winner of that game goes to the SWAC championship game. If Alcorn State wins out, it'll be at Lorman, Mississippi. If Jackson State were to happen to win, Jackson State will come here on December the 1st. Same thing with Alabama State. They still have a chance to uh, go to the uh, SWAC championship game, and it would be here at A.W. Mumford Stadium. Other than that, the game would be in Warren, Mississippi, and that would mean the fifth time in a row that Alcorn State wins the Eastern Divisional Championship. The last time a team outside of Alcorn State won was Jackson State, and that's when we beat them in Houston, Texas, right here. We've got uh, a very uh, special young lady right here, uh, Caroline Mays. Yes. Right here, and you're the recruiting coordinator for ExxonMobil, is that correct? That is correct. I'm the ExxonMobil recruiting team captain. All right. Tell us what that uh, job does. So, what I have been able to do, um, and actually I've been involved with the recruiting team for engineering since I hired on in 1999, um, and over the past almost 20 years, um, what I've been able to do is help recruit new engineering talent from the university um, back to ExxonMobil. So, um, very near and dear to my heart um, to continue to see and help grow, nurture um, more engineers from my alma mater um, into my, the corporation. Which is right here at Southern University. Yes, right here at Southern University. You see I have on my blue. That's I'm always right. a defender of the golden blue. Um, and so, yes, that's correct. Right here at Southern University. Um, also, um, just recently, we did a check presentation where we have been able to um, give back over $120,000 this past um, um, year. Um, and that's been an effort from donations made from employees, annuitants, and surviving spouses. Um, and also part of those funds will um, also go to help um, the labs that we have here on campus, um, scholarship programs, and just really giving back to the university. Um, we want to be always um, a, a near neighbor, great community um, representative. Um, of course, you know, we're, we're just a few miles right up the road on right. Scenic Highway, right along the Mississippi River. And so, you know, with having such a close proximity, we want to do all we can to help um, Southern University be the best that it can. So what did, how did Southern prepare you to get this job? So how did Southern prepare me to get this job? So I am actually a um, Baton Rouge, um, native so I grew up in in Baker Louisiana um, and I product of the East Baton Rouge Parish School System um, I graduated from Scotlandville Magnet High School engineering program there so there were lots of ties with um, Scotlandville and Southern University from an engineering standpoint I've known for a long time I wanted to, to be an engineer um, wow. I, I've always liked math and science and so um, what what the university prepared me I have established lifelong um, relationships um, learning how to deal with conflict, team environments. Um, you know, this goes beyond just the base. You're going to come to any university and you're going to get your base um, educational academic experience, okay? Um, you know, I always tell folks the same textbooks that I learned, statics and strength of materials, are no different than those that went to any other right. university across um, our country, but the, the uniqueness that I felt that I received from Southern University is the family environment, the, the team um, spirit. Um, you know, even though I'm, I'm almost 20 years out, I still stay in touch with those same team members that I had years ago. We just recently got together and did a retirement um, party for um, our secretary in the mechanical engineering department. And it was just like old times. A lot of us hadn't seen each other in a while. So really, the, the piece that I take closest to me beyond the academics from Southern University is really the, the, the working with the team, the family orientation, the, the really um, camaraderie there and how we can all come together and work towards a positive goal. So recruiting, do you go outside of the Baton Rouge area to recruit? No. So I, we have here. different, I stay here. So I, I actually come to, to the university. There's a career fair each fall. Um, I come back to the university. I have a team um, of about uh, five or so different other alumni from the, the university. And we come back, interview um, potential candidates um, from the engineering department. We've actually been able to grow that a little bit in um, recent years to get back plugged into our business organization, specifically with supply chain management, business management focus. 
All right. And so I come back each fall, identify candidates. We go through the whole interview process. Um, and hopefully, you know, we're able to secure um, folks into either full-time positions or co-op and internship. And those positions can be all across um, the country. So not just positions back to the five sites that we hear, have here in Baton Rouge, but all of the sites across um, the, the corporation within the U.S. Well, I know US. you're happy today with ExxonMobil Family Day. I am. Day. I am. So today is our um, our family day. So we, we do have um, a lot of um, employees and their families coming out to support the to support the Jaguars today. I'm very excited about that. Um, it also, there's um, some other activities going on today as well with the high school. So, so there's a lot of involvement, a lot of excitement on the campus already for it to be as early as it is. Um, and it's so nice and windy and cool um, out, but just you can already feel the, the love and the atmosphere already and the excitement um, that, that'll be out here today. So Caroline, you said you weren't gonna be good at this and you're better than me. I'm taking my headphones, I'm gone. I'm done for the day. <laughs> awesome deal. Thank you for what you're doing. Yes. And welcome back to the campus. Thank I know. you. Thank you. All right. Uh, we'll be back with more. Roman Banks will be here. Uh, we'll get his thoughts about the big game today, uh, UAPB and the Golden Lions, and more as the Jaguar game day experience continues outside A.W. Mumford Stadium on the campus of Southern University. I'm Chris Powers, and this show presented by our friends at ExxonMobil. Back yes. in a moment on Pelican Sports TV. Okay. Watching your son get knocked down isn't easy, whether it's on the field or in life. But it was the times when life knocked John Gordon down that he learned the value of hard work and getting back up. So are you nervous, son? No, we've been practicing hard and staying focused. Well, that hard work should pay off this season. I got this, Pops. People ask me if JG is going to play in college, but he just wants to work hard and win another state championship. Values like this, hard work and getting back up, what we taught our kids are the same values we believe in at Gordon McKernan Injury Attorneys. Call 888-8888. Dallas, get ready to turn it all the way up for the 2018 State Fair Football Showdown. Saturday, October 20th, Cotton Bowl Stadium. Get ready, get ready for the Battle of the Cats. It's the Tigers of Texas Southern University, straight out of H-Town, versus those Jaguars of Southern University, Baton Rouge. Brought to you by Lone Star Sports. Two big cats from the swank. It's colossal. It's colossal. Come witness Southern's high-scoring offense against Texas Southern's shutdown defense. In the end, only one cat will remain standing. This is huge. Huge. It's a game you've been waiting for. Turn it up. And did we mention the bands? Get ready for the high-stepping bands you want to hear. Featuring TSU's Ocean of Soul, moving in motion against Southern's human jukebox. Saturday, October 20th, Cotton Bowl Stadium in Dallas. It's Texas Southern's Tigers of H-Town. Turn it up. This is a Jaguars of Southern University, Baton Rouge. For more information, visit our website, www.statefairshowdown.com. I can't imagine a day without music. You go downtown, you can find some music. You come uptown, you can find some music. Monday night, they got music. Every night of the week, there's music somewhere. Baton Rouge is a place where it's easy to make friends, it's easy to hear some music, and it's easy to come back. We got the music, we got the food, and we got good people. So with that combination, you can't lose, right? Yeah, I've come to lose and I we're a nation of hardworking Americans, and businesses will always be the lifeline of this great country. As a business owner, you understand the importance of your reputation. In times of uncertainty, you need a real lawyer who's serious about protecting you and your business. You need a problem solver. You need the law firm of Clayton & Fouget. Tony Clayton is a proven trial lawyer. He'll defend you and your business to the fullest extent of the law. Protect your investment and call the law firm of Clayton & Fouget today. Legendary Import Group, distinguished service and detailed attention, you'll discover the only distinctive auto for the legend in you. Stop by 10660 Corsi Boulevard or phone 225-960-1191. Welcome back to Jaguar Game Day Experience right here, presented by our friends at Exxon Mobil outside of A.W. Mumford Stadium. Coach Roman Banks with me right here, athletic director. The first time we were hot and steamy, <laughs> now what? <laughs> What's going on around here? <laughs> Unbelievable. My mouth is almost frozen. Oh, man. 
It's exactly, uh, uh, but it's going to be, it's a beautiful day out here. It's going to be nice. A.W. Mumford Stadium will be rocking today, the final regular season game. And we can't quite say yet it is the final game because obviously if Jackson State or Alabama State were to win that Eastern Division, then Southern would host one of those two teams in the SWAC championship game on December the 1st. Which would be great for us. So we, we're, we're once pulling for Jackson State, I believe, right? That's exactly right. <laughs> we need them to beat Alcorn. What are you hearing from the office? Is that something that may be done on a regular basis going to the home sites, or do you see it being somewhere uh, after this year? To be honest with you, uh, they want to find a home for the game. And, uh, you know, once we first talked about it, it was talked about coming to the high C uh, campus. And uh, they had settled on going to uh, Birmingham, Alabama. And uh, what really happened is the negotiations uh, kind of, we didn't sign a contract. Mm -hmm. And it was just word of mouth in the interim stages on the interim uh, commissioner. And uh, UAB won a lead. And so they conference say the higher seed host, and that's their home facility. Right. And so that zeroed us back to the original plan. Right. And Baton Rouge, though, would be a perfect place to have it. Plenty of hotel spots and what have you. A place like Alora, Mississippi, no hotel spots. But there is, you know, it'd be, of course, a trip that Baton Rouge makes, but it's a very nice trip. And when they do tailgating at Lower Mississippi, they have we have fun there. No question about it, but let's call a spade a spade. And that's no right. place like Baton, Baton no, Rouge and right, right here on the bluff at Mumford Stadium would be very nice. I think, you know, we're one of the, uh, the few schools that's actually in a nice city, and we, can, and we really can host people as it relates to hotels and restaurants to make it a whole different atmosphere as it relates to ancillary events around the game. No doubt. And so uh, uh, this will be – I, I know everybody sound biased, but I think this would be a perfect place for it. It would be. And, uh, but, uh, you know, let's concentrate on us winning out, <laughs> and let's see where it lands. That's exactly right. And, of course, obviously winning this game will be big, but even if we don't win this game, we're still coming down to the Bayou Classic, which is next week or two weeks uh, over in New Orleans. And uh, i tell you what, you're going to have a little gathering over in New Orleans. No question about it. You know, we're going to take the uh, – the overtime series, mm -hmm. the AD overtime series to New Orleans, I call it the final finale, uh, 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 the grand finale, and uh, we're going to take it over there. It's, and that's been awesome. We've been able to do what I wanted to do. Is That that means bring fans closer to athletics uh, where we can party with a purpose, communicate, listen to ideas, generate revenue. Because, you know, it's, it's basically, we say admission, but it's, the $20 is basically a donation. Right. And uh, we've been able to, to – um, to get on this thing about with our facilities. Obviously, you see softball is going to be very nice. And so we've been able to use these funds to help some of our unrevenue sports, soccer, volleyball. Uh, we got a big project coming along with baseball that we have to fix that field as well. So, uh, you know, the state dollars just don't do it. So I have to continue to think of uh, ideals and ways to generate revenue. And so I think people like coming together. Uh, you know, that's what Jaguar Nation is all about, that socialization. So it's been good for us. No question about that. And today we're honoring several people, obviously Henry Baptiste, General Russell Honoré. Uh, that's going to be big for those two guys. Henry Baptiste, what he has meant to Southern University has been unbelievable. Oh, unsung hero. Yep. <laughs> if you know Henry, you know Henry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, obviously, you know, uh, he's been a good friend to me as well over, over my career here in Baton Rouge in a, in a four and uh, the things that he all does six man club, the foundation. So he has his, his hand in a lot of things uh, around this, this university and this community. And uh, what people don't realize is, is, you know, you look and, and you look around and sometimes it seems like that you hammer the same person over the head when you ask, but every time from an athletic standpoint, a campus standpoint, when we ask, he haven't never told us no. Yeah. And he just keep answering the bell. And, and so that's, you know, he's definitely an unsung hero uh, on this campus. Exxon Mobil getting involved with Southern University, not only sponsoring this show, but today they're going to be honored on the field. It's Exxon Mobil Day and obviously Exxon Mobil Family Day. Yeah, so, uh, you know, uh, Denise and I was able to go over and sit down with their administration, and and um, I just felt like, you know, when we approached them and, and they beloved us back is that, 
you know, we need to bring Exxon closer to the university. I mean, you know, we do know they do a lot of things in engineering, but a lot of people don't don't know that. Yeah. Uh, what people see is is a lot of game day activity, what go on, and they and they relate that to who's helping the university. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, obviously, that Exxon seen it the same way, and they they jump right in bed with us. Uh, they've been able to help us in a lot of different ways, and and we're going to grow this partnership and. They have some major ideas along with us, and I think that's going to be outstanding. So I'm very thankful for them. And also, uh, their employees uh, do a good job with the matching fund deal, uh, three to one. When they donate money to Southern, the company matches it. And so they've been, uh, a lot of people uh, wouldn't know about that, but they do a lot of, a lot of good things as it relates to helping us academically on this campus. No question about that. All right, this is the 58th meeting between these two schools, Southern and UAPB and the Golden Lions. Uh, Southern has an advantage of 44 wins, 13 losses. Southern has won the last five games straight against these uh, Golden Lions from Arkansas Pine Bluff. And with that, the last loss coming here at A.W. Mumford Stadium in 2012 as uh, Southern lost that game 50-21. to That was uh, Coach Dawson Odom's interim year. He comes back after that and he is five and one against these golden lions so it ought to be a lot of fun so with that again a big game when it counts in the uh, conference standings uh, this one ought to be a lot of fun aw mumford stadium a 4 p.m kickoff time the uh human jukebox will be going crazy it ought That's to be right. a lot of fun well you know we got high school day here so we got over over 4,000 students from around the area and different states on campus and uh i want a person to take this time out to thank the fans because we have really revitalized this thing and brought Jaguar Nation back. I mean, we, we're looking at record numbers in attendance this year that we haven't had in a long time. And we want to continue to grow that because we know that Southern is the best place to be. Who wins the game today, Coach? No question about it. Make it number six. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For this, ought to be a lot of fun today for Southern University. They've got to be able to defense. has got to play like they've been playing in the last yes. three ball games. They have been playing lights out. Some of the best defense I've seen since I've been here at Southern University. So it's going to be a lot of fun to watch this game today. Going up against a very big offensive line in the UAPB Golden Lions. They have a 1,000-yard rusher. Their quarterback is starting to play better. Their offense is good. Their defense not so good, but offensively are good. So it should be a very good fun game today. And I got a feeling that Skelton's going to come out today, not only in rushing like he normally does, but in passing as well. Ought to be a fun game. We hope to see you here today, 4 p.m. kickoff from A.W. Mumford Stadium on the campus of Southern University. I'm Chris Powers from Roman Banks. We'll catch you back here again right here on Pelican Sports TV. Come on, TV. Jaguar Nation. Come on. The Jaguars are united on the bluffs of the modern Mississippi to defend their turf. And this fall, they stalk in unison. This fall, they strike with curiosity. This fall, Jaguars proudly. Touchdown, Ryan. That's a lot of effort, a lot of determination.